and we back. Now today I needed some help because I wanted to put together the most random roster of current NBA players and rebuild them. But then I had to figure out how do I consider a player random? Because in my eyes, a random player is a guy that you know exists in your brain, but you never ever really think about them. So I called up the boys and, and the girls. There again, Tina Overtime do got some, some females onto Twitter. And I said, who is the most random current day NBA player you can think of? And well, I'm using that to put together a team. Shout out to all my Twitter followers. I know some of y'all are really kicking yourself because you could have been in this video if only you follow me on Twitter. It's AO at KOT for a Q. You know, it's always in the description along with my Instagram, my second channel. Oh, leave a like on the video and subscribe if you're new. 30 to 40% of the people that are watching right now are not subscribed. So join the crew, okay? Let's go over to Twitter and see what type of replies we got. So this is my Twitter, again, at klt 4 q You should be following because we tweet nothing but bangers. Like right here, Chris Middleton just got 51 points today. Uh, and Chris Middleton is one of the guys, for one of my guys. So, yeah. And then we got the tweet that I'm talking about. 2,500 replies. Y'all really came in hard on that tweet, man. 2,500 responses and just five hours time so obviously we not gonna have a roster of 2500 players because i mean that's not you don't even have that many players in the league so i need a method to determine whose players we pick and whose players we don't pick and here is the method we are going to use i'm gonna close my eyes i'm gonna stroll as long as i want to and then i'm gonna open my peepers and then i'm gonna count to three and that third person underneath my little crosshairs, what is this called? Cur cursor is the player we're picking. I don't know what the replies are going to look like. I can look up top here and I see Gershaw Yabusel. I see Czech Diallo. Yo, uh, Jonah Bolden. Those are legitimately three random players. So since we are talking random players, it ain't going to be good. <laughs> we're not getting a good group of guys. And that's completely cool because that's what a rebuild of challenge is about. All right. The close. They're closed, and I'm ready. Wait, let me make sure my crosshair. I keep saying cross. I'm so used to, you know, back in the day, your boy was a Call of Duty quick scoper. Uh, crosshairs is just something I always say. Cursor is right where we need it to be, and we're going close. And I'm strolling. Let's go five strolls. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, we end up on this tweet. This tweet has been haunting me for two years. I like Kelly Oubre. Junior is a hooper. For two years, this tweet has been following me, or this clip has been following me. For two years. And y'all know it's just a joke, you know? We all about the memes around here. But, um, so that's the person we landed on. Next, some dude said Victor Oladipo. If Victor Oladipo is the, the most random player you can think of, that means you ain't really in the depths of the NBA. You know what I'm saying? So we not getting that. Furkan Korkmaz, shout out to my boy Mace Dog. That's my day one homie. Y'all don't know, man. Grew up together. We talking like one of my first friends. Uh, and that's that's the homie, man. We all grown up now, which is weird. Uh. And then we got Ross. And I'm, I'm guessing that's Terrence Ross. Because off the top of my head, there's no other Rosses in the NBA. RIP Kobe um, gives me Terrence Ross. And that's the first person on our team. I like it. I like Terrence Ross, man. He can be a bucket getter. When he is on fire, there's not many people that can stop him. We're adding him to the team. And my eyes are closed again. And we going, let's go six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we landed on Doran Finney-Smith. Definitely a random player, but he is an impactful random player nonetheless. We got Furkan Korkmaz. Uh, Nemanja Bielitsa. And then Maxi Kleba is the next guy to be added to the list. Another quality NBA player. See, Maxi Kleber played his role perfectly. That's why I like him so much. So he is added to our team. Okay, so Maxi is next, and you know the drill. Eyes are closed now. Um, let's go short. Let's go two. One, two. We got Jonah Bolden, the guy we already talked about earlier. Dwayne Dotson or Damon Dotson, Mouse Turner, and it also got five likes. That's weird that Mouse Turner. Is a random player because Mouse Turner is such an impactful good player. Usually when I think random, I'm thinking about players that may not get a lot of PT. It ain't that impactful. Mouse Turner's not that. But then we got Jackson who tells us to get Brad Wanamaker. And I see the Celtics, you know, logos everywhere. So he definitely wanted to pick a Celtics player. And he got it. Brad is on the team. Three players down, a lot to go. So let's just get strolled. I'm going up. I'm going down. And I'm stopping right now. 
Oh, definitely LeBron James. Ed Bleed Support doesn't talk about him enough, LOL. Brian tried to be front funny. He tried to be funny. I mean, on the low, though, on the low, wouldn't it be great if we got LeBron? Like, that is a building piece, obviously. But again, we got to count to three. We got Taco Tuesday fall, Andre Ingram, and BAM! If BAM? We talk about probably all-star BAM. That's the most random player you can think of. I'll take it. BAM Adebayo is on our team. Hey, shout out to Shady. I, I'm guessing that's how you pronounce the man's name. You really just did me decent. Thank you, my guy. Next, eyes are closed, and we're just strolling. We're going up. We're going down, and we are stopping right now. Bismack, just because of the crazy playoff series and the steep decline right after. Hey, yeah, Bismack Biombo had a great playoff series, and he got paid. He got paid, yeah. So definitely a random player. So let's think about players after that. We got Rui Hachimura. I like Rui Hachimura a lot, um, but unfortunately, we can't get him. We got Keenan Allen. Can't get, and then Abdul Nadar is the guy we're actually going to end up with. Cole Wavy, thank you for the player. Last time I checked, Abdul Nadar was having a very good season for his standards. You know, he's shooting the ball efficiently and everything. So shout out to him. Eyes are closed. This guy right here said the GOAT, my inspiration, Luka Doncic, puss. What? That's definitely not a random player. If that's the. Anyway, eyes are closed again, and we are strolling. We are strolling down as much as I can and strolling up a little bit, and we're stopping right here. We didn't go anywhere. We didn't go anywhere. We landed right under the tweet I was talking about, and we got Anta Zizic, good NBA player. After that, Nick Stauskas, who I don't know where Nick Stauskas is at. I don't even think he's in the league anymore. Professional basketballer Frank Jackson of the New Orleans Pelicans, but the guy we're ending up with is Etwan Moore has to be the most average random player of all time. Laughing my beep off. Etwan Moore is having a very good season. Don't sleep. He's shooting very, very efficiently, and we're adding him to our team. Y'all know we love former Bulls, and Etwan Moore is a former Bull. Eyes are back closed, and we are going in for another player stopping right now. What the heck is going? No, we're redoing it. I don't know what's what is. Are we we actually strolling here? Oh, I see. Twitter has blocked off the rest of my replies. This is not 2,500 replies. Twitter, what the heck is up, my guy? Note to self. Stop using Twitter, bro. They literally, I can't find a way to see the rest of my replies. We're, the last guy I see is Joe. We shout out to Joey for saying Theo Pinson. But like, bro, there were 2,500 replies. Twitter, you're going to show me what? 100, 200 of them? Bro, that is so disrespectful. That is so disrespectful. I don't know any other way. You know what? I'm going to try one other method. And that method is not any better. Wow. I am so disappointed in you, Twitter. You are so... Oh, my God. Look at this update so fast. You are so unreliable. Most unreliable app goes to Twitter. Okay, so this is what I just did. I unmuted this tweet, and I retweeted it to put it back on the timeline, which means that when people start replying, I will see them. So the first person that replies, the first person that ends up replying will get their player added. Hope, hopefully, hopefully people are still on Twitter. It's, it is kind of late, and I know the boys and girls got got school and work in the morning, so we're gonna sit here and wait. Sammy Ozile from Kermit God, so he is added to the team. Next guy, Black Sketcher says Aaron Holiday. I really like that idea because Aaron Holiday, he is a pretty random, but he's young, up and coming. He got some little trade value, and y'all know we love trade value. Aaron Holiday is now added. Next, this guy says Clean Anthony Early. Who is not in the league, but that is a that is a very random player to be thinking about at 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock at night. But I I guess I did ask for random. It just doesn't fit because he's not in the league anymore. Then Fudge says Dragon Bender is a name that we've seen plenty of times before, but finally he ends up on the team. Alfred says George is Niang. Definitely a random player. Wow. That is about as random as it gets. I mean, it's a guy that you don't remember is playing basketball until you see him on the court. So I think he went to Iowa State, if I'm not mistaken. Regardless, he's on the team now. Okay, so since Twitter's completely broken, like I can't even see my mentions anymore, just I don't know why I try to rely on outside sources. It never really works for me. But this is the way we're going to do things. I do have every NBA player here. Um, we're going to set the qual quantity to 10 
so i don't want any stars we're gonna let them pick 10 random players and i'm gonna determine if they are actually random players you get what i'm saying i don't want lebron i don't want kd or those guys i want random random players okay so let's run it gogabadazzi is 100 a random player 100 a random player if you're not a pacer fan i don't think you've seen gogabadazzi play this season so because of that i'm adding him to the list then we have Damian Lillard, who we all know is not random at all. Jonathan Isaac, I wouldn't consider him random. He's he's kind of well known at this point with his great defense defense, especially if you watch my channel, because you know I talk great about him when he's on the court. Then we got Zizic, who, believe it or not, though we saw him a few times before, is not on the list. So he'll be the second player added. And then the last two guys are going to end up being James Johnson and De'Anthony Melton. De'Anthony Melton's having such a good season. Shout out to Grizzly Nation out there, bro. I'll be watching. I watch every single game of Grizzlies games just because just they're super fun. And De'Anthony Melton's defense is elite at this point. And then James Johnson, we need some we need some strong men, some enforcers on the team. So we'll take both of them. And that's it. Finally, this has been an ordeal. I, I wish it didn't take this long, but we finally have our roster and it's time to rebuild. Okay, so the team is built. And while I was building the team, I, I was thinking about how we can turn this team full of random NBA players and Bam into a good team. And the only way I can think of is flipping Bam. That is the only way I can think of to get this team to the point where we're winning the championship because nobody else in this roster has good trade value other than Bam Adebayo. We look at the, 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 the trade value. Look at the trade value. We, ha we cannot keep him. We can't. It doesn't make sense. Do I want to? Yes. Bam is one of those dudes. I, well, I did just have him in the last video too, by the way. Uh, check that out. But I can't keep him. It doesn't make sense for our goals. And our goal is to put together the best team started from these random players. So let's see. Bam Adebayo. Y'all saw the man basically had a perfect trade value. And we throw in James Johnson, whose contract is huge. So the money can match up with some of these players. Chris Middleton, we just talked about dropping 50. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I see what y'all on, baby. Y'all ain't trying to give me really nothing. We talking about a guy that's basically a 90 overall right now. And y'all not giving me no stars? None of them? No big deal. Because I could throw a first round pick at it. And that first round pick will be valuable because we are going to suck if I don't make trades. So I think this is a very nice trade. We're getting Bradley Bill, who will be a staple piece in our team. And we're getting Rui Hachimura, who has two and a half star value. And we're going to flip him. I think he'll have more valuable to, value to other teams. Now, is there a way for us to do this trade without giving up that, that pick? Terrence Ross instead. Do I throw in Terrence Ross? Do I throw in Terrence Ross? Is that too much? It's not too much. Deal. Okay, so we still have that pick that is valuable as all heck. We talking like, yeah. So, okay, that's beautiful. So now we can use that pick and uh, Hachibora, each one more, and that pick is going to get us a good big man. Or, or even, look at this. Look at this. Look at the trades. Look at the trades. Tell me I'm not the king of this. We just said Jimmy Butler last video, so I'm not doing that one. Drummond and Luke Kennard is not a terrible idea because, again, we do need a quality center. And Drummond is that. Luke Kennard will be tight, but we may just flip him if we end up doing that trade. DeMar and LaMarcus is cool. Devin Booker is the guy we always... Ah, Shea Gilgis Alexander. Done deal. Don't got to think twice. And then we also get in one of the best players in the NBA, personality-wise, Steven Adams. I just watch all the interviews just to hear him say mate. And that is enough for me. The man said he went like four years without actually wearing jeans or pants in general other than sweats. It's a beautiful thing. Um, but Shay, his overall, I would, I thought his overall was going to drop if we made him uh, go higher if we made him a point guard. But no. But we're probably still, or they tried to run Valley Beal a small four. He's 6'3", my guy. We can't do that. But I did that trade. We got our center. We may flip Shay. Y'all know Shay's one of my favorite players. Like, look at, look at my laptop. Look at my laptop. In this corner, right here, we got a Shea one. Shea's one of my guys. But if it don't make sense to keep him, I won't keep him. So we'll test the market for him. Actually, Steven, I, I, I'd, I'd, rather not, <laughs> I'd rather not keep Steven Adams. I forgot he's making $25 million a year. That is a bit, that is a bit rich. 
that is a bit rich, I can say that. Let me know if I should just get the shirt that say you get assets and you flip them. Because that's exactly what we're doing. Steven Adams in the first round pick. We're bringing in Brandon Ingram. Look at the length of the arms, baby. The Slenderman is coming to the team. Derek Favors is not bad either, so that is the deal. So right now, we are looking at a team consisting... I will be running Shea a point guard. I don't care about his overall. Shea, Bradley, B.I., and then at the center, we got Derek Favors, and we got Maxi Kleber. We definitely need to improve our, our bigs. We got all these guards right here that we can free up. Um, and we still aren't spending a ton of money on this roster. Like, where do I even see that at? Yeah, we got $26 million a cap with this roster because... Uh, Bradley Beal, uh, not Bradley Beal, um, Brandon Ingram and Shea are still in their rookie contract. So that's a beautiful thing. Let's try to get a better center for Derek Favors, though, because the center position is so super important. The guy that always pops up in these is Clint Capella, and I definitely wouldn't mind having Clint Capella on the squad. But unfortunately, he did not pop up this time around, which is just, it's just my luck, right? It's just my luck to be looking for somebody that I've seen a billion times and him not come up. So instead... We're going to throw in one of these point guards, too, like a D'Anthony Melton, who I don't know what his trade value is going to be like, but he's 21 years old. Again, great defender. He's only got two-star value. That's kind of trash. Actually, it's really trash. We got Brandon Clark and Jonas Valanciunas. Trade number five looks like a very, very good one. We could go Young, Center, and Mitchell Robinson. He's going to get us a lot of rebounds, get us a lot of blocks. I do like that idea. So we'll keep that in the back of our mind. But I'm interested in having Valanciunas and Brandon Clark. They want two first-round picks. Can I somehow get out of two first and throw this second? They want Yang, and they're going to give us Bruno uh, Caboclo. That's fine. That's fine. So right now, our starting lineup, we have Valanciunas at the center position with Max Kleber. Our defense may not be great at this moment in time, but I may, ha I may have to flip Shea. I think it makes the most sense to flip Shea, unfortunately. And yeah, we're going to throw in one of these centers. And, yeah, I don't know why Shea's overall is not a bit higher. There's our point guard. Shea has four-star value. This will give us our point guard. That would give us our point guard. Let's look at the other 25 offers, but trade number one already is a dub. Yeah, Ben Simmons, welcome to the team, my guy. We're going to get him shooters, too. I mean, we already got him shooters with Bradley Beal, Brandon Ingram, Maxi Klee, but Valanciunas is actually a good shooting, three, uh, shooting center, too. So we got you shooters, like 80 overall three. Ben Simmons with shooters around him is a scary sight. So our starting lineup, I like. Um, Maxi Kleber is cool. Uh, I, I guess I would prefer to have somebody a little bit better. But we do have Brandon Clark coming off the bench. So maybe we're fine at power four because these guys are so interchangeable with Brandon Clark being such a good three-point shooter too. So let's build the bottom of this bench. Let's get another wing player that we can trust because right now we don't really have that. So our backup point guard is Aaron Holiday. I'm cool with that. So let's trade Brad and then Goga Badatsu, who's a young player. I don't know what his trade value is going to be, but again, he is young. And he's got three-star value. So let's get a wing player that we can trust. Denzel Valentine, I don't trust like that. Draymond Green is going to come off our bench. Yep, don't don't make me think twice. That's the that's deal we're doing. And we're changing him to a small four, so his overall goes slightly up. They want him to start. He is not starting over Brandon Ingram. I am sorry. He will be a great and great, great six-man. So the next thing is to find is to find a better center. And we don't have that much trade capital left on the rest of this roster. We got one. Oh, we just got that first from the Warriors. Oh, that's actually kind of clutch because they suck. And then we're throwing Dragon Bender, who is 21. So he may have a little bit of trade value left. Two and a half stars. What are we looking for? A center. We're looking for a good backup center. I'm going to try to trade for Rashawn Holmes. And that's done. Um, just a quick trade to get our center up there. They still want to put Draymond in there. I'm sorry, Dre. You're going to have to come off the bench. And I'm actually going to make a couple tra tra changes here. And... I'm going to go to Draymond because I know that once the season starts, they start toying with your rotation. I'm going to go to Draymond here and I'm going to say, like, do it where he's never going to be a start. I think you can force six man, right? Isn't that an option here? Come on, please be an option. Force non-starter on for one season. This means that no matter what the situation is, I already turned off injury, so we ain't got to worry about that. He will never start a game for this team. And that's going to work. Um, and then we're, we're going to get rid of John Beeline and look at our systems, space and pace. Of course, you got Ben Simmons as your point guard. You better be running the floor. So we're going to try to get a coach that fits space and pace. I kind of don't love our front court at this exact moment. I would, I'm more worried about them defensively, Valanciunas and Maxi Kleber together. But when you got, I need to make Draymond's power four as a power four backup. 
um we i guess you have draymond and then you have brandon clark who's a really good defending rookie we can live with a, a world without valanachunas being a great defender i'll test his trade market um and we'll see what we can get but i doubt it's going to be much of an upgrade because i still want to get a center that can shoot but also they can defend and that guy doesn't exist so we will stay with valentunas and if we start seven games and we start to suck i don't mind trading him away for somebody else um but i really do like our team and i think we're gonna be a very strong team we have brandon i'm sorry we do have brandon ingram but we have ben simmons bradley bill brandon ingram maxi kleba and then Jonas valentunas off the bench we have draymond green rashawn holmes brandon clark and aaron holiday I really, really like this team. All things considered, I was, this ain't the best team I've ever built. By far, not the best team I've ever built. But remember the roster we started off with. We got all these players by trading Bam. Bam sacrificed himself for the good of this Cleveland Cavaliers roster. And we're going to go out there and try to win for Bam. For Bam. That's the idea. So we're going to make it a nine-man rotation and go simulate and hopefully we don't suck if we do we'll cut make some trades you know we're not completely attached to this team even though i really like the way it was put together so i'll be back all right y'all it's about that time to try to make a legendary run you see we just ended you know the regular season with a bunch of w's we don't know nothing else around here lebron won mvp zion yep yep nobody from our team most improved went to luca that's a, that's actually the first time i've seen that before first time i've seen that um Everything else, of course, we've seen plenty of times. Who who cropped LeBron out of this picture? Because I can still see the little stubble. Like, whether they're... Anyway. 2K, hire, hire some better graphic guys. I, I know some people that be hooking me up with my thumbnails. Them guys be on... You know, they be on point. Uh, we're the Cleveland Cavaliers. Let's see if we have anybody from our team. Nah, we just happened to win 71 games. But they don't want to respect us enough to give us an all-NBA player. We got all rookie second team, Brandon Clark on there, you know, being basically our seventh man. Number one seed in the Eastern Conference, but let's take a look at some statistics from our squad. We got Bradley Beal averaging 27, 4, and 5, 50, 40, not 90. Nope, never mind. Ben Simmons averaged 26 and 7 and a half, but did he hit a three? Yes! Quit, quit, quit playing with Ben Simmons, man. He does this. He, 21 percent he had 14 threes a king a king that's it that's all it's a wrap it's over this is ben simmons world now the man took 66 threes in a season it's his world it's his world valentunas average uh 15 points per game brandon ingram only averages 14 but you gotta think about all the talent we have um so his shot attempts are probably down actually not probably they were down brandon clark averages 10 Sean Holmes averages nine. Max Kleber averages seven. Did he shoot well from three? Forty percent above average. He shot above average. That's all we can really ask from him. Aaron Holiday seven and Draymond Green seven, but he's a he's a defensive impact player, not anything else. All right, let's see how this is gonna go. First round, I did see Miami Heat, so I'm excited about that because that's a cakewalk. In real life, not a cakewalk. In 2K, Miami Heat get no love. So, uh, could should be a not maybe not a sweep, but fast six games sweep. Yep, just complete sweep. We ain't got to really worry about Philly because we took Ben Simmons from them, but they went all the way to seven against the Nets. Shea forgot that's who we traded, and he didn't even put up great numbers. Uh, Joel and B did, though, but they ended up losing to Kevin Durant and company. Kevin Durant and Kyrie Burf both finished with 37. Let's see if we can beat them. I think we can, but they do have Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving. So I'm not saying it's definitely not going to be a cakewalk. Ah. This is this is not it. This is not it, y'all. This is not it. It looked like we got a simcast. We have to simcast because this team is stacked. It's Don't do this. Not in the second round. Oh, brother. These boys stunk it up. They stunk it up, y'all. Six-point game with 14 seconds left. We scored 10 points in the third quarter. That's the game right there, bro. That's the game right there. Yeah, we won one game, man. <laughs> this team better go on and win the championship or I'm so disappointed in my team. If we didn't lose to the champions, we don't want to lose. Actually, I mean, you don't want to lose at all. They got to the conference finals and... Oh, oh, okay. What a comeback. 
KD, LeBron, in the finals again. They Are they going to win it? They blew a 3-1. They blew a 3-1. And LeBron gets another ring for LA. You know what? I like it better this way. I like it better this way. Get another one for LA. For, for not even just for LA. That, that team is fine for everybody at this point. I like it better this way. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave it a like, man. We'll be back again tomorrow, obviously. I, I still upload on my second channel. Today's video, we went over some of the worst calls in NBA history. And I tell you, that was so fun to watch refs mess stuff up. So if that sounds interesting, uh, click the link in the description. Go over there, subscribe. We're trying to get 100,000 subscribers. We're at like 90,000. We can get there. We can get there soon. I trust y'all. All right? Peace.